podcast. My name is Anna Brown, and welcome to the May 22nd edition of Eye of the Warrior. This year has been packed with many memories, from teacher awards to the senior shootout. Let's take a look at some memorable highlights. Thanks for the review. Did any of you enter the Instagram contest? Let's go look at some entries and reveal the winner. You know what I love, that's right. My hair, I really love my hair. I love my hair, I love my hair. There's nothing else that can compare with my hair. I love my hair. The winner of the wackiest hair is John Metzinger. Claim your prize in the main office from Miss Wooler. And thanks to everyone for your participation in the Instagram contest. Great job, John, and everyone who entered. We would like to have one last Instagram tribute to remember our seniors. Add photos of great senior memories with the hashtag WWSeniors. Most of the students here at West have their license or are starting to drive. Last week, we learned what to do in a car accident. This week, we're learning basic car maintenance with Kyle. All right, guys, what I'm going to show you today is how to do some basic car maintenance. I'm going to show you how to check your motor oil, your automatic transmission fluid. First, we're going to start with motor oil. What you want to do is go on and locate your motor oil dipstick on this truck. So this particular one right here. Pull out the dipstick. You don't care about the first time. You just wipe it right off. Push it all the way in. Bring it all the way back out. You can see on this one, the full line is right here. And where the bulk of the oil stops is right here. So I'm a little bit low on oil. If I had to add any oil, I would do so through the oil cap right there. And then we're going to check tranny. Normally your tranny is going to be a red, it's going to have a red top to it. It's going to be this one right here. Same process as before. You're just going to want to wipe right off what's already there, considering that the transmission has been spinning. That's going to give you a false reading. So I'll put it all the way in. And if it does have a lock, you know, I'll lock it, bring it back out. You can see it has a couple different marks on it. It says cold, and it also has hot. We haven't been running the truck for very long, so the transmission is still cold. So you can see I am in the parameters of that. That is your basic car maintenance for this week. Thanks, Kyle. Now let's take a look at sports with Tia. Good morning, Lost the West. I am Tia Unger, and this is your Warrior Sports. In girls soccer, the Warriors retained the Rock Trophy with a 1-0 victory over Wasa East. The Warriors are currently in fifth place in the Wisconsin Valley Conference. In the girls softball, they dropped a pair of games to Wisconsin Rapids and currently sits 
at seventh place in conference. In baseball action, the Warriors dropped a game at Rapids, but have a very important matchup today against BC Everest. The girls track team were recently crowned the Outdoor Wisconsin Valley Conference champions. Katie Tyler and Nina Kilcoin were conference champs in the shot put and the high jump. The boys track team competed in the conference outdoor meet and finished fourth. Austin Bates was a champion in the 110 hurdles and 4x800 relay were champions as well. Good luck to both boys and girls teams as they compete in regionals coming up. That is your weekly sports wrap up. Good luck to all the teams as they compete their seasons. Now back to Anna. Thanks for tuning in to the last edition of Eye of the Warrior. On behalf of all the Eye of the Warrior crew, we would like to thank you for your support. Best of luck to the class of 2014. Have a great summer and hey, be a warrior today.